Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and today we're going to be making an amazing stuffed French toast. So the first thing we're going to do is mix our first two ingredients together. These eggs are, were already beaten. We're just going to put them in the bowl. Put that aside. This is your milk. And then the last ingredient is vanilla. So what we're going to do now is just mix this together so it's incorporated. Like I said, I beat the eggs in advance so that um, we wouldn't have to do that now, but just mix that really nicely. And then the next step is we're going to actually stuff the French toast. So this mixture here is basically a raspberry preserve and... Um, Raspberry preserve and yogurt, so it's a nice uh, added way to put protein in your French toast. So obviously I cut a little slit in the bread, you know, cut the bread a little bit thicker than you normally would, or get really thick slices. There's breads on the market called Texas Toast, you could try using that. So you stuff it, and then I'm going to use the tongs to actually put this, submerge this in the milk and egg product egg mixture and then what I'm going to do is put it right in the skillet and keep on going on to the next one. I could have actually stuffed these all in advance but I didn't want them to get soggy so just put oops okay just made a little mess but that's okay that's how it happens sometimes put it in the mixture just turn it over quickly. Put it in your electric skillet. On to the next one. The, the um, raspberry mixture is a nice little added treat too. It gives it a nice interesting flavor. Like I said, it also gives you the ability to put a little protein in there, especially since this is more of a, you know, heavy carbohydrate dish. Put the last one in there. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to wash up my hands, move a few things around. We're going to come back and check on our French toast. So let's check on our French toast. This one could have gone a little bit longer, but that's okay. Just going to spread them out a little bit, let them cook, and I might have to turn this one over again because I didn't let it cook long enough, but let's let it finish up and we'll come back and do a little bit of assembly. So, I'm just going to check the underside of our French toast. Ooh, cooked it nice and brown. Okay, so I'm going to just plate it up. I mean, this is obviously quite a big serving for one person, but we just want to make sure it looks really nice and attractive. I'm going to turn this off, and you know, I'm just going to garnish it a little bit with some nice M&Ms. My husband would love this. I would, of course, go for the blueberries, but who doesn't like a few M&Ms? Whoops. And then lastly, we're going to put on some nuts. These happen to be pecans. And then we're going to top it all off with some agave syrup. My husband would slather this with butter. I would not. But here's a nice alternative to a maple syrup, a beautiful agave. Gives it an extra little bit of sweetness. And there you have it, a beautiful French toast by using your Cuisinart skillet.